Okay, so in the last episode we figured out how to rescue Red and Grey. And we took, uh, I think it was Grey's mask. And he has the ability to open locks. So we're going to head up here and check out this, uh, this cage here. This trap. Let's take a look at it. The gilded cage looks ornamental, but is extraordinarily strongly built. And uh, this is the egg. Now I don't want to get caught in here myself. An enormous jeweled egg. The craftsmanship is unearthly. And uh, we've got a special ability here, so let's use it to open the trap door. And uh, this is our way back out to the main part of the uh, the hotel. So let's just head through here. I'll take a quick look at the items along the way. A painting of sunflowers. The petals are turned inwards like teeth. Yeah. I just love the art style in this game. It's just beautiful. It's gorgeous. A book called The Killer 7 catches your eye. The illustrations have an unusual art style. A collection of stories about talking animals. We found the three of spades among them. Let's uh, head on through here. A painting of a dragon is mounted above the cabinet. It was drawn either by a master expressionist or a very small child. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. And uh, here we go. We've got some. Uh, got the ladder back up. Figures for everything sold in the bar. There seems to be two sets of ledgers. Hmm. These two barrels smell off. Maybe the ale went bad. Perhaps. Let's head up the ladder. Back to the main area. And uh, we've looked in here before when we went past this grate in the other uh, hallway. Enough beer to drown a small army, unless they're northerners. In which case, it's enough for a morning's refresher. The selection of wines are extraordinary. It would be a struggle to find a single bottle worth less than hundreds, if not thousands of pounds. Alright, let's head on out. Let's see what we can find. An empty keg of what smells like brandy, some knocked over stools, might well be related. Oh! Having a vision of uh, the next two people we need to save, Thanos and Aurum. Now, we have seen these two characters before, at the very beginning of the game. Uh, well, just after the tutorial, uh, we saw them talking in the, uh, the hotel lobby. So, I guess we should uh, go and track them down. Now, what's the time? I'm going to change my spawn point just behind here. Uh, there is a spot here. So, there we go. Let's do that. And I'm going to restart the day, uh, because I want to follow those two characters. Let's follow Aurum first, the big guy. And then we'll follow the, uh, the old man after that. Looks like an old lady, actually, but uh, it is an old man. Now, I need to move quickly here to uh, do a few things in this bar. Have I not picked this up before? Let's grab the Jack of Spades. Let's go and take the... Um, uh, the disc there, and then I'm going to light the, oh, let's go and light this so I can see the ghosts, and before Aurum enters, uh, so we can talk to him now, password, no, don't know it, I don't think so, so we don't know the password, these two are still chatting to each other, okay, it looks like he's making his way over here. We need to know the password before he'll let us into the room behind the bar. So let's see what happens when Aurum enters. I can hear him getting closer and closer. Uh, Willow's candle there, he's looking at. Everyone knows it's Eleanor. Everyone knows the stupid password. And uh, we know it now as well. Oh, 
Okay. I do know the password now, Mr. Ghost. Just gonna have a look and uh, see what see what he's up to. Right. Pull the arm, you say. There we go, just like you said. He's putting it onto spades. Now, maybe just one quick drink. Okay. Let's see if we can head on through. There's more ghosts here. A few things to have a look at. Let's um, break this first of all, grab another card. Oh, there's a can is there a candle? Yeah, there's a candle over there. Let's have a quick look and see what Aurum is, is doing over here. Having a drink at the bar. We'll just uh, watch these two have a chat for a minute. Oops, wrong button. Say what, friend? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Okay, he's going to start walking back now, so I'm going to hide in here. As you can see, there's lots of ghosts around, so I'll light the candle and we'll check them out in a second. Let's just wait for Aurum to walk past. Is he coming back out? Is he not coming back out? Taking his time in there. Come on. I guess I stopped watching too quickly. Oh, here we go. Can hear you. Hear footsteps. That, that ain't right. Must be some of those weird robots Lucas had sixpence make. I mean, that blackjack dealer is something else. You think for a guy who designed this place, Thanos would have put in some more elevators? It does take a while to walk from one side to the other, almost the entire day. So, there's going to be a bit of exploring in this episode, because there's a lot to do uh, for this mission. Uh, let's get these ghosts uh, visible, and uh, just take a little bit of a look around this room. The acoustics in this room must be extraordinary. There's another closet over there. You know the term, the brown note. I, oh, okay, sure. Guess it makes sense for the VIP room to have its own corner bar. The drinks look less poisonous than in the other room. I was passed over for the first saxophone. Anyone have anything else to say? I found something very interesting on a large gentleman who passed through here. But you have nothing to trade for it, so I'm keeping it. Ah. Huh. Okay. The band plays on no matter what and no matter when. The band always plays. Maybe once we do have something from the large fellow, uh, I can trade him for something, probably a card. Let's head on through here. Uh, the staff member's gone, but we can pick up the six of diamonds. Might be worthwhile just taking a look through here. Oh, this leads us back to the uh, stairs heading up. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So we'll head back out. Now, Orm seems to be going around uh, pulling those... What's the time? 8 o'clock. It's fairly late in the day already. I might actually restart this day. Um, I don't have time to get through the parts I want to get through. But uh, we've seen what Orm's up to, so... That's good. And I'm pretty sure we followed... Uh, Thanos as well earlier on in the game 
He heads off to the left and then down and then past an area where we can't get through. Uh, one thing you can do in this game is actually quickly run through rooms even when there are other characters there. Just gives you a bit more of a chance to go quicker. So take notice of this uh, statue here as well. Is there a card here? Quick, quick, quick! Is there a card there I didn't pick up? Maybe. Okay, let's have a look around and see what we can find. Oh, hello, you look like a man of taste. Are you headed to the main library? Would you see if you can find me a decent mystery? Something devilish, devilishly tricky. A real noodle scratcher. Okay, he's given us a bookmark, the King of Clubs. That'll keep me going for a while. Sure. Another collectible here. And uh, now that we have Gray's skill, we can unlock this door and head to the library to the north. And uh, this is the path we need to take to reach the new area. Gosh, there's a lot here. Grayson Grayson's autobiography. I prefer the term treasure hunter. There's something from Trinity. Collected sculptures and the Braille version because she is blind. We've got uh, songs by Tequila and uh, an enormous clock. I'm just gonna have a look over here and see if there's anything, uh, any cards are going to pop out. Here's some movement. Shelves filled with tomes on everything from history to poetry. Um, there's a lot here to explore as well. A copy of the mask and other stories. It's very well read. Japanese characters there. There's a card here which I'm going to grab. Now if you're quite perceptive you may notice that there is something behind this bookshelf here and we'll get to that a little bit later. Balzac is sticking out. The Hoichi the Earless. Our table is right underneath the chandelier. The personal diary of Charles Joseph Carter. Report on the fisherman who caught a juju guppy but later drowned himself. I think the juju is that uh, the fish with the creature behind it. Let's head through here. Catalogs for the library and anything else? Collection of horror stories. That's what the ghost wanted us to find. I think I might just keep his bookmark though. Signed copy of Franz Kafka's The Metamorphosis. Rough inks on handmade parchment. It's an unsettling effect. Hmm, lots of weird paintings all over the place. So, Bible is open at Proverbs 23, 14. A glass mosaic chandelier hangs from the ceiling, so I'll sing to that in a second. Someone has been researching the creation of the Hungry Charm. Hmm, okay, let's sing to this chandelier. It's got one of Willow's candles on it, so we can go back down and light that and have a chat with that ghost down there. There's a couple of rooms to explore up here though before we continue on. Uh, we've got a book, another one of those mirrors. The History of Cardenio. Um, we've got a card here, I'm gonna grab that. Let's just take a quick look out. Oh, this leads to that, uh, the walkway there. Fierce hog heads line the wall. They look identical, which cast doubt on their authenticity. All right, so we've got the library winding key. I just need to find the library uh, clock now. And then I can use that as uh, a spawn point. So let's continue on. Keep moving fairly quickly here. It's already uh, almost six o'clock. Uh, head down and use the candle. The show starts in one hour. It's not really a show though. I don't think anyone turns up for it.
Okay, hello buddy. The drivel in this library, I asked you. I mean, that shelf there. Handwritten unpublished notes from some tiresome chap. Da Vinci, I think. That whole section over here. Some boring tit banging on about a Riemann hypothesis. They've cracked. The bookshelf of the bag, pull the Balzac out and the shelf next to it moves. Health hazard, eh? Indeed. Uh, where are the illustrated geographical studies of, uh, of disrobed tribes people? Where are the art books with the bosoms and the gentleman statues? I find the lack of good old-fashioned obscenity to be completely indecent. I think I need a moment to myself. Okay, we'll leave him to it. Let's go and uh, activate this hidden uh, bookshelf here. Head on through. Let's do it a little while before these two get killed. The three paintings show the left hand Cupid shooting an arrow through the central bowl to impale the heart of the cherub on the right. The paintings are wittily placed. A makeshift altar with the Bible open at the passage. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Hmm. Some strange goings on in this, this building. There's something here, the five of spades. Another collectible. Uh, let's carry on. We have found a clock, so we'll do that quickly now. Let's use the winding key. Uh, and in case I don't find another clock, I will set the spawn point up here. And uh, let's take a quick look around. The barrel has a rich aroma of port. Sheets cover old furniture, it smells of decay and must. Okay, a couple of bookshelves here. The Eight of Spades, nice. Now, is that a door down there or a uh, closet? I think it's. Oh, there's someone through here. Hold on a second. Oh, that's Thanos. Okay. He's making his way down here. I just want to have a quick look and see what this room is here. That room with a couple of statues. More seating. Uh, and now Thanos went down this way. Oh, there's another clock here. I need to find the winding key for it. Okay, here we go. Did you change all four statues? The bar, the library, the piano room, here in the entrance hall? Entrance hall? Must have missed that one. Uh-oh. I don't think the statues have been set correctly. This is very much not ideal. Ah, it opened. I did like you asked. Can't believe it worked, though. What did you say this thing used to be before you turned it into an elevator? It was part of the old furnace system. Furnace? What the hell are we doing climbing into a furnace, man? Phew. It's been all disconnected, of course. Lucas had me create an entirely new and highly efficient heating network for the mansion. Has it been disconnected? Are you sure? It feels warm in here. Uh-oh. It does? Oh, no. Oh, that's awful. Oh. No. Can we get his invitation? Warm smoldering corpse blocks the entrance to the elevator. The stench of burnt flesh fills the air. I'm gonna take a quick look around while I've got half an hour. Maybe I can get into a couple of these rooms and just map them out. Um, quickly grab this card, won't have to do it again later. Okay. Uh, and can I quickly get across to the other side? Come on. No, I don't think I'll make it. Will I? Yes. Oh, there's a card there. Yes, grab it. <laughs> Good.
Okay, now we have changed the spawn point. Uh, let's move quickly here, just to explore that room before anyone else gets there. Is there a card in here? No. Oh, I know where I am. That's the... Right, there's a secret uh, walkway back to the main part of the building. Right, so that's a bit of a shortcut, so we don't have to go through the library every time we want to get here. Now, if I head over here, there's these um, places for all of the guests. There's also a curtain here. Uh, there's a statue with peepholes. So that could come in interesting a little bit later. Ah, there's the winding key, okay. Let's grab that and see if I can change my spawn point. Where's the other clock? Ah, this is it here. So let's use this one and I'll set my spawn point here. And I'm going to restart the day, actually. Just because I'm a little bit closer to... Oh, did I not set that? Oh. I, I used the winding key, but I forgot to reset the spawn point there. So I'll have to quickly run down and do that again. Someone walking nearby? I can hear some other footsteps. Or is it just my imagination? Okay, so... Right. Use the pocket watch. There we go. Now I've reset the spawn point. Just a quick look around in case I find some cards or... Something like that. Felt like a roulette table. There's uh, small plants in the room. Okay. Let's start the day from here. I do want to get as much time as possible. Because uh, this, this one's a little bit tricky to complete. Okay, so this is the uh, the room here with the secret passage that Thanos and Urim are trying to get into. The Bible is open. We found something there. Let's just see if we can... Oh! One of the uh, staff members has come through, so let's go and uh, see what he's up to. No good, no doubt. So it's pretty clear that these all need to be on hearts because it, it shines when they're all on hearts. He's changing the symbol to spades. And that's what uh, Aurum is doing as well. Changing all of these sat statues to spades. They've got the wrong idea though. So we need to go around behind him and change them back to hearts. And uh, he's also stealing the, the arm there. Crazy guy. Oh, I need to get to the... Oh my goodness, okay. Actually need to get to where he's going before he gets there. I don't think I have I don't think I have time to do it. Let's quickly No. Nope. Can I quickly? I don't think this is gonna work. Let's pull that and then we need to run around and uh, spy oh spy. Spy on him from the other side and we can figure out where he puts that arm. Let's have a quick look. Right. There we go. Okay, so that's where he's hiding it, and that's where we need to pick it up from uh, later on. Now, 
Okay, I'm just wondering if I have time to do this now. I'm going to give it a go. Let's head back through the... Oh, oh, who do we have here? Let's head back through the secret passage. I think someone's just left. It may have been uh, Thanos. There's this statue here as well. Or I'm just going to get to that one last. So there's no point changing it now, because he'll just change it back again. Um, so the one at the entrance... Oops. We still need to... Oh, we still need to light this. Just gone four o'clock. Now, I wonder where Aurum is. We can actually go to the map and... Oh, he's still in there. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, come on, come on. Let me through. He has changed it to spades. One, two, once more. Come on, quick, quick. Let's see if I can get this done before he comes back out again. Yeah, he comes out at like 4.20. He's coming out right now, I think. Or well, very soon. Very soon he'll be coming out. So I can either follow behind uh, Aurum and change the next one uh, just after he does it, we'll go back and grab the uh, the arm and change the uh, the last one. So a little bit confusing. Maybe I'll have a quick look at the map and just show you what I'm talking about. So there are the four statues here. You can see the little light coming from them. This one here, one, uh, two, three, and four. Just change this one here. He's going to wander down and change this one, then head into the the main room here. Uh, this one stays as hearts. Uh, this one has the broken arm. So I, uh, I'm going to change the uh, the one with the broken arm first, if I can get there quickly enough, and then come back to this one last. This door's blocked, so I have to take the long way around. We've still got a few hours, so hopefully I'll be able to do this in time. Let's grab the arm from here. This puzzle is definitely a lot trickier than the uh, previous ones. But there we go, we've got the arm. Here, people walking around. Let's head back out here. Okay, I think we've got time here. So let's use the plug the arm in. Uh, pull this three times, so it's back at hearts. Then there's just one more to one more to do. And uh, we should be able to rescue these two. The white keys in the piano are carved from Scimitar Oryx Horn. The black keys from some kind of a turtle. Right, let's run. I'm trying to run. Rescue them. Oh, he's in there. Oh, right. We just we just passed him by. Whew. So this is pretty much as early as we could get here, anyway. Uh, I was hoping to hide in the closet there before he entered the room, but I was just a little bit too late. Okay, let's pull this uh, three times. And if we've done everything correctly, it should cut to the uh, to the end of the day. Ah, uh, yes. Whew! Aurum, that's done it. The statue symbols. I don't understand. This shouldn't be the correct combination. You think maybe the marquee changed them? 
Aye, it's possible, but if that were true, then the ones I was working towards... Well, it's too terrible to imagine what could have happened. I'm feeling better than I thought I would. Maybe I don't need this mask on right now. Yes, I rather feel a weight has been lifted. Oh, we've saved them. And uh, here we are. Ah, Boone. Lafcadio, how are you, man? Did you... Did you do something with the elevator here? I had the most terrible feeling. Boone, would you mind terribly continuing our search for Lucas? I am worried about him, but he is least likely to be offended when the concern is coming from you. That boy loves you, Laffy. Is Lucas... my father? Looks up to you, you know. Or maybe not. Even with all his crazy riches, he still has a soul needs saving. Plus, this old fool here owes me a drink. And some staff members an apology. There will be zero apologizing, the sass on that young man. I tell you, in my day... Uh, he really does look like an old lady with all of that, <laughs> that grey hair. Uh, he has dropped his mask though. So let's pick that up and see what skill we get. Looks like there's just uh, one more character to save. Thanos, mask is yours, Boone. Thanos Architect Inside, the genius architect Thanos Gorecki had an unparalleled knowledge of the sexy Brutal. Visiting certain areas of the mansion will trigger memories and reveal secrets, unlock new entries in the brochure by using the power when the prompt appears. He knows more about this place than any man except perhaps for Reggie. With that mask and Thanos' knowledge, so much will be revealed to you. Okay? You've opened a path downwards, Boone. I want to thank you. There is something so precious down there, in the dark. Come to find me. Hmm. Okay, so we've opened the path down to the basement, and we're going to be heading down there now. And uh, this is where we'll be finding the, uh, the next guest that we need to rescue.